Greetings fellow planeswalkers, I'm James and welcome back to Commander at Arms to the Battlefield. This is the show where we get to play magic with your favorite content creators, our friends and patrons. This week on the show we have two amazing guests for you. We have Beth aka the Queen of Cardboard and we have Danny from Dad Jokes and Cardboard. Tonight we are playing something quite spicy but if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you never miss an upload from us ever again. And with all of that let's get into the video shall we? Greetings fellow planeswalkers. I'm James and I'm Paul. And welcome back to Commander at Arms to the Battlefield. This is the show where we play magic with your favorite content creators, our friends and patrons. On tonight's show, we have Danny from Dad Jokes and Cardboard. How are you, mate? I'm doing amazing. I'm just enjoying the beautiful snowy weather we got over here. Well, I wish you would give some to us because it has been hot as balls over here. <laughs> <laughs> And also tonight, we have Beth, who is also known as the Queen of Cardboard herself. How are you? I am good. How are you? Fantastic. I am just ecstatic to play magic with my friends tonight, sling spells, and smash face. Um, so after all that, Paul, do you want to run us through what your deck's doing and intro yourself? Uh, yeah. As you can see by the smiley face on my board, I'm playing Elish Norn. Uh, Elish Norn looks to do basically exactly one thing which is uh, attack. Uh, the the Elishorn makes everybody else's creature smaller, makes mine bigger. Uh, you won't be able to tell from my particular version of the card because it isn't in Phyrexian. Um, but basically I'm more or less playing like mono white death and taxes uh, in Commander. So you'll be seeing a lot of like, not a lot, but you'll be seeing some tax pieces as well as just some very efficient creatures with relevant keywords. And that is what I'm going to be doing. Danny, what did you bring to the table? I brought Sephiris of the Hidden Ways. It's very simple. It's just a, it's not like a typical Sephiris deck, just like, you know, looping reanimation, trying to get through the shortest dungeon the fastest. In fact, it is a Sephiris party dungeon deck. So all of the creatures in the deck are party members, except for two. And the goal of the deck is to just get my party members out. Have a good time. Party, party, party. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> yep, and you can find me on Twitter at DJ and CB. Uh, <clears throat> we drop new episodes every Wednesday and we talk about everything under the sun, magic related from the color pie to what your favorite planeswalker will be doing at an amusement park. Uh, I listened to your newest episode while I was editing my own podcast. It was a uh, one hell of an experience. You guys are talking <laughs> about uh, green, I believe, in the yeah, in the, we the color pie green. We were talking about green. We got a little derailed near the end, there, but we had a good time. What's what's a podcast without a bit of derailment, <laughs> mate? <laughs> All right, uh, Beth, what are you bringing to the table? I am bringing Chatterfang to the table. Um, this is my happy little squirrel tree, and as long as you leave my squirrel tree alone, it will just multiply and do things over here by itself. But if Until you, you attack the tree. squirrel tree, then you get squirreled. Oh, yeah, love it, love it. <laughs> so you're trying to get squirrely. Yeah, I'm trying to get squirrely. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, tonight, I brought Doretti Scrap Savant. I like artifacts. I like the interaction with the artifacts. I'm going to play as many artifacts as I possibly can while searching through my library for my favorite artifacts that go infinite with each other, which then win me the game. Uh, I have multiple, you know, win con lines in this deck, uh, and that's pretty much it. And you all know me. Uh, I'm James, the second half of Commander at Arms YouTube channel and podcast. Go and check us out. Scan the uh, QR code here or in the overlay. And with that, let's get on to the game. Shall we, Paul? Do you want to start us off with your turn one? Yes. Wind Brisk Heights, tap. I have a hideaway trigger, though, so I'll do that and then I'll pass. Alrighty, I will draw. I will start us off with an island and pass the turn. I will draw. I'll start us off with a command beacon into a soul ring and pass the turn. Oh, artifacts are my thing. No. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, I am going to play this Foil Urza Saga. I'm going to put a counter on it and then pass. I will untap. I will draw. Slight flex. A uh, little bit. Just, just a tad. Play a snow-covered planes, and I am going to pass after that. Alrighty. I will draw for turn. I will play a regular planes. 
and I will tap the planes for a soul ring. Then I will tap the plant, the island, and the soul ring for nimble trap find. Nimble trap find is a two one, and he says whenever an, he can't be blocked if I had another party member enter the battlefield control this turn. And when I have a full party, my creatures gain when this creature deals deals combat damage to a player. Draw a card until the. Then you're passing. Yep. Cool. Sorry, you bre are breaking up a little bit for me. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's not just you, it's everybody. I'm just trying to work through it. Okay, I will play a forest and I will tap my forest and that, yeah, to put Chatterfang in turn two. And I will pass. Seems good to me. All right, I'm there going to you untap. Are. You could have cracked your uh, command beacon to put him in your hand first, then cast. Why would I want to do that though? <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> it's, it's funny. A power it is a power play. <laughs> like, I don't need this. Listen, um, James mm. asked me for a fast game, not a shenanigans game. <laughs> I asked us all for a fast game. Uh, <laughs> I am going to play a Forge of Heroes. I'm going to do something in this deck that I've I've always wanted to do and have never had the chance of doing it. Uh, so let's go a Jeweled Lotus. Uh, let's crack the Jewel Lotus for three red and then tap my Urza Saga to cast my Doretti Scrap Savant. Uh, he comes out with three loyalty. Uh, I will then tap my Forge of Heroes to choose target commander that entered the battlefield this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it if it's a creature and a loyalty counter if it's a planeswalker. So it's going to go to four. Excellent. And then I'm going to uptick Doretti to six and I am going to discard a staff of domination and a basic mountain and I'm going to draw two cards and then I'll pass my turn all right I will draw a card uh I will play a planes um I'm actually gonna pass I will untap and draw for turn he's holding up some sort of removal mantle yeah, huh? Technically, <laughs> I was doing that last turn, too. I uh, will play a Deserted Beach as my land for turn. And wow, that's pretty. Yeah. Then I will tap white and three for a squad commander. When squad commander enters the battlefield, I'll, uh, I will create a 1-1 one, one white core warrior for each party member I have, which is currently two, so I will make two. And at the beginning of my turn... At the beginning of combat on my turn, if I have a full party, my creatures gain plus one plus oh and indestructible. So on the turn. Woofed. And the nimble trap finder is currently unblockable. I will go to combat. I will send the trap finder over at the ready for two. Uh for two? Yep. Knocking back down to four. And Seems good to turn. me. Sounds good. I will untap. I will draw. Yeah. That yeah. boy dusty with the follow. -up. Yay. Alright. I gotta make decisions here hate making decisions me too that's why when people play fact or fiction i just give them five cards <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wow how did we not bring that up on the podcast today i will keep that in mind <laughs> nice. i put down a dark boar pathway i'm gonna tap that my command beacon to play a giant skewer <clears throat> it's got a quip three so i'll go ahead and do that to put it onto chatter fang any response nope cool 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 Let's see. I will go ahead and swing at Danny. How big is your untapped stuff? Uh, I have a three, three, and two one ones. What is the likelihood that you kill my commander? Well, I don't want to take. What is it? Two damage. Five. Five damage. I definitely don't want to take five damage. I just. I would like my commander to survive, but I want a food to tow it and a squirrel. <clears throat> I'm a hungry bitch. Oh <laughs> shit! I'm sorry. Am I? Mm? Yeah, you're good. You're yeah, good. you're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. So what you're telling me is that you want me to block with one one. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna my love and and affection. I'm gonna try it and just see what happens. Uh I'm gonna swing at you for five, Danny. Or Eight, yeah. Five, give you a food and a squirrel. No, you have to um block to do that. Because I have to deal damage to a creature. Yeah, so it's either take five or or give you a food and a squirrel. Oh yeah, yeah. But look at my squirrels; they're so do cute. Do the food. Do the do the food. It's it's pay, all pay, good. Pay your taxes. <clears throat> pay my taxes. Yeah. Do the thing. Uh, shrub block with one of my core warriors. 
Thank and no, you. And not because I have a plan to do with the amount of artifacts and stuff on the field. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will make a food and I will uh, also make a squirrel and I will pass my turn. Okay. I will untap, upkeep, and draw a card. I actually, before I get to do anything, my main phase one, as a saga is going to get another slot. Is it a law counter? Put a law counter on it. It's going to try and sacrifice itself. I'm going to tap I'm, it for one color spell. I'm going to respond to the Lord counter trigger. Okay. I'm going to flash an Avon mind sensor. Oh. Oof. Brutal. I have like nine targets. So let's see what happens, shall we? I'm still going to tap this for mana to float a colorless. And then let's crack the Urza Saga and let's look at the top four cards, is it? For Avon Mind Sensor? Yeah. Four cards. One, two, three, four. You know what's funny? I literally on top got the card that I, or one of the cards that I wanted. Uh, it's a Mana Crypt. Then it shuffled, right? Or just to the bottom? You still shuffle. Uh, you still shuffle. Yeah, cool. So there's my Mana Crypt. It was either that or Soul Ring that I wanted to go for. Need that Mana Acceleration, you know? Done. Shuffled my library, and I have one colorless floating, and I've drawn a card. Um, I done messed up. I don't have any red mana. I'm gonna uptick to ready to two. Go back to six. I am going to discard a meteor golem and a war room, and I will draw two. Why did I throw that mana away last time? I'll play an Urza's power plant for turn. Um, and then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let my mana go to waste. And I will pass the turn. So All right. Idea. I will untap. Draw for a torn. Uh, I'm going to play a snow-covered plants. And think. I have a multitude. Excellent. I think. Not worried at all. Because everybody's ramping so much. And by everybody, I mean exclusively James. Ah, there's a couple soul rings out there. I guess I'm the only, actually the only one who hasn't ramped yet. I am going to tap uh, three mana, and I am going to play an extra planar lens. Oh, man after my own heart. <laughs> can you discard a, a swamp? Well, sorry, can you imprint a swamp? Not a swamp, a mountain for me? No, I only Damn. have two options right now. There's a snow-covered plains or a windbrisk heights. I think I'm going to go with one of my tapped uh, snow-covered plains. Uh, so this now taps for two. Does that change anything? What do we got out there? We got the Chatterfang. He's uh, tapped. Uh, He's chilling. There's, there's a party brewing. It's party brewing. Parties are coming. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm okay to just kind of let people keep having a little bit of fun here. Uh, so I'm going to go to combat. Uh, we are going to knock that the ready a little bit back down to size, though. Yeah, he'll go to three. I knew it was coming. Uh, I will then... Oop, nope. Goes up one, sorry. For some reason, I thought Ava Mindset was a 3 1. Uh, he's actually a 7 1. You'd say that. No, I would believe it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to tap two. I'm going to play a Swift Foot Boots. Swifties. Uh, I will then pass turn. Hey, right. James. Yeah. I will untap. Uh, I just want to point out my token situation. Keep yeah. Yeah. Is it a live squirrel and a squirrel pie? Yeah. And oh. a shipwreck marsh for turn. That's grim, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat, you know? Yeah. I it brings a whole new meaning to baked into a pie. Uh, Esper for my commander, Sephiris of the Hidden Ways. Um, I, I will trigger the Nimble Trap Finder. He's on turn. And then I will tap my Soul Ring for a pair of Lightning Greaves. So many artifacts. A um, little time. Move to right. put the lightning greaves to <clears throat> Sephiris. Alrighty, and I will go to combat. Let's send the trap finder at Beth. Why? Because you swung at me last time. No, we made a deal. <laughs> we didn't make a deal. You just swung at me. Anyways, what? How much? Two. Two. Sounds good. All right, and I will pass turn. I will untap. I will. Raw and also him. I will figure out what I'm doing with my hand. Don't look. Look away. Okay. I am going to go ahead and play a Prosperous Innkeeper and make a treasure and a squirrel. 
Okay. This is my treasure for now. It's not going to be here for very long, so don't worry about it. How many artifacts and enchantments are on the table? I have why. No reason. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm so scared. I have two. I have two. Okay. Danny says he has two. Uh huh. Uh, I have one. one. So you okay. got five five total between the other three players. Sounds good. Um, first things first, I will go ahead and swing Chatterfang at Doretti. Oh, probably should end up keeping it alive, but that's cool. Uh, Doretti takes how much? Uh, he is a 5 4. Boom, Doretti dies. Sounds good. Um, and then I am going to tap four and play Rampage of the Clans. Destroy now. all artifacts and enchantments. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller creates a green green centaur token. A green green, green centaur green, token? <laughs> a three three green green <laughs> centaur token. <laughs> now, why would you destroy the only ramp I've done this game? That <laughs> Not right. only did you destroy his ramp, mm. you also <laughs> essentially blew up his land. Uh, response, I'm going to tap my mana crypt for two colors and then blow it up for no I reason. I will uh, destroy three, including my squirrel pie, and I will make three elks and three squirrels. I thought there were centaurs. I don't have I that. make centaurs and squirrels. Oh, James. Yeah. We got to show you. <laughs> oh, nice. Sick black lotus. Uh, Where's everybody getting those from? Um, uh, they're from the... Uh, the parallel masters set for dual masters in japan only we did a whole episode on them i got mine from ebay yeah you did from japan uh, i have a 3-3 beast but it's the same power and toughness as this centaur that we're supposed to have uh is that the end of your turn beth no i'm dry oh <laughs> yes it's the end of my turn <laughs> All right, I'm going to untap upkeep draw. Um, and then I will also, because another creature entered the battlefield under my control, that was six. I'll gain six life, by the okay. way. Sorry, I got distracted by my beautiful centaur. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to drop a ghost quarter. Um, and then I am just going to ship it. Ship it real good. <clears throat> yeah, because all my ramp just got blown up. Hold on. I found I found my old, my old box of tokens. Oof. I had to dig deep for these. Uh, uh well oh you actually have the centaur tokens that's sick uh Mansu light thanks for the follow matt yes Mansu light i recognize your name from twitters and discord nice um don't you also get through uh no oh, you already got the squirrels nice sick. yeah she gets a metric butt ton of squirrels yeah 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 all right <clears throat> um i will untap no this is a regular butt ton metric is not yet <laughs> Draw. I the will play a planes. Now, normally, I would have had enough to cast Elder Shorn here. Huh. There wasn't a Rampage of the Clans. Interesting. Whatever that place is called. It's weird how that works. Um, it's like I didn't want all of my board to die. Well, sometimes things happen. <laughs> oh, I love the sass. <laughs> we call those unfortunate incidents. Like losing your extra planar lights. Collateral damage, if you will. <laughs> that is yeah. <laughs> um, but look at all those centaurs you've got. Yeah, you actually did hook me up because uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Okay. Uh, I am going to attack this and who doesn't have flyers? Nobody has flyers. No one has flyers. But Beth is at 44. But she sure I, is. I, I feel it's, like at the start she said, "Don't shake the squirrel tree." It's two damage, Beth. You'll be okay. I'm gonna attack you for two. <laughs> um, Block. this. This 3-3 three, three will attack James. Of course it would. And then this 3-3 three, three will attack Danny. We'll just spread the love. I will take your three. I, I declare no blocks. That's cool. Um, I will actually block with my squad commander. Okay, it's also a 3-3, three, three, right? Yes. Okay, after blockers are declared. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew we had some sort of bloody combat trick. Uh, I'm going to activate Windbrook Kais to cast the card that I, I hit away with it. Uh, yeah. It is a cage stun. So this affects nothing for you, Danny. I just need, I just needed to do this before damage. That's fine. <laughs> uh, when this comes into play, I'm going to choose white. Mm -hmm. uh, so even Mind Sensor is actually going to be three damage. So these are all three. Isn't it They're just cool. white white creatures? White creatures I control. Yeah. yeah these, these, are are green. Green. these are natively three threes. Yeah. That's Sorry. why I said these are all three, three, three. Yeah. <laughs> I understand right. math, Paul. 
All right. Uh, so blocks, blocks happen. Uh, we'll go to so, damage. I'll lose yeah. the centaur. Um, Black Lander dies, which triggers separate. I take three to the face. She will let me venture. I will <clears> venture <throat> into the dungeon of the Mad Mage, gaining one life. Uh, Beth, I... take, one, take one more damage. I don't want to. It's you're at. You're still at like the highest life total here besides Danny. I don't even know how you guys are gaining this life. Where's I my life? I'm the white deck. Prosperous <laughs> and keeper. <laughs> I am mono white. Where is my life? Name? Uh, second main. What else we got here? We got a couple more centaurs. I have this for blockers and people who play blue. Very Do true. I, do I need to leave up stuff? Nah. Uh, I'm gonna tap four man. I'm gonna play a court of grace. We're gonna introduce the monarchy into this game. I oh. love the monarchy. All right, we're all hitting pull. <laughs> I'm already here, you guys. You didn't have to introduce the monarchy, like <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I thought I did at the start of the stream. Uh, I'm gonna go to my end step and I'm going to draw a card. All from right, the I'll, card and I'll pass. Untap. Keep draw for turn. I'll play this planes for turn. So instead, we're gonna tap uh, blue, white, and one for Linvala, Shield of Seagate. She uh -huh. is an angel wizard 3-3 with flying, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, I get to detain something. And I can sacrifice Linvala to and my creatures can gain either hexproof or indestructible. So right now you're just a cleric short of a full party, right? My, uh... Uh, I need is a that a joke? A warrior. It's a setup for a bad joke. Isn't the I token a warrior? It is. You're right. I am a cleric <laughs> short of a full party. Where's my cleric? <laughs> my kingdom for a cleric. <laughs> uh, I don't know, um, man. I will go to combat. <clears throat> I'll send the trap finder over at He Who Reigns. <laughs> All right. What is it, two damage? It is just two. Right, Why I did you make it harder for me to get two. the monarch? And you may take the crown, my friend. Don't worry. I will. Thank you. I will. Uh, and then can I have it? Take that crown. And then I'll go to end step and draw for the monarch. <clears throat> I pass. All right, untap and draw a Rouge Passage. And that still kind of sucks because I need some things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing Chatterfang and my three, three, three centaurs at Danny. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I will four creatures uh sure i'll block chatterfang with a centaur and another centaur cool i'm gonna tap two and play heroic intervention uh, that's fine yeah so your shit dies and my shit doesn't it's fine by me get that out of your hand now and then i am going to tap one and sacrifice three permanents to minus three linvala sure so i can yeah i'll sacrifice it to give my team Hexproof to the end of turn, which okay. will give Sephiroth, which will trigger Sephiroth, allowing me to venture and scribe. Okay, cool. And then I did do some damage to you, correct? You sure did. Awesome. Uh, I, took, uh, I blocked two creatures, so I took six. Cool, 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 cool. I will pass my turn and draw for the monarchy. I will not tap anything. I will draw a card. Now, where do we land on giving James the uh, the monarchy? Are we cool um, with that? I mean, what, how big are you swinging at me with? Just the three three centaur that you sent that you gave me. I'm, you know, I'm not really. Pre I don't prefer that. I. But I, I don't have that. a choice. To, I don't have a choice about giving it to Paul. So I guess I guess I'll let you have it because then Paul's probably gonna swing at you. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat and swing my three three centaur beast at you, Beth. Okay, I will take three. Yes, I will become the monarch. Now, it's going around the table. Yay! This is how monarch should be. It goes around the table. Everyone yeah. gets everyone gets it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, because with that, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass turn, and I'm gonna draw a card from monarch, and then I'm gonna go to cleanup step, and I'm going to discard a card, and I'm going to be discarding a spine of Isha, and I will pass. Now, Beth, you've overlooked one very important factoid here. He was gonna swing at me anyway. <laughs> James has no blockers at all, which means that this measly little centaur can get in for my monarchy. Right. I have a whole flyer left to go somewhere else, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, on my upkeep, I have a quarter of grace trigger. You know, I left that flyer alive, but I don't have to. <laughs> I haven't even been paying attention to see if anybody's been searching the library. I don't think anybody has them. No, we haven't yet. I've been keeping it. 
track on uh, for you. So I'm gonna make a uh, one one spirit with flying, which I'll get in a second. I will draw. I'm gonna play a Nyxos Shrine to Nyx as my land for turn. What is the harm in casting Yellow Shorn right now? Uh, I would be very unhappy. I know, but it makes, it, it makes me, it is what it is. It makes me happy though. Do it. I wish I still had that Swift of Boots. I am going you really to really wanna that. hurt me. <laughs> Because Beth threatened me. <laughs> I didn't threaten you. I literally passed on the monarchy so that you could hit James. Because I thought that's what you would want to do. He wants right. to do that anyway. Okay. And you threatened me first. I just responded in kind. Roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will be nice and let everybody keep doing their stuff for now. Ah. Remember, he's a mono white control deck. Just remember that. Yeah. Mm. Real control elements here. Court of Rage, <laughs> known around the world for its uh, control elements. I'm actually just going to go to combat before I do anything. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't do that because I'm missing damage if I don't cast this first. Uh, I'm going to play uh, pay one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to play the Immortal Sun. Uh, now I will go to combat and I am going to attack. Beth, you still have the highest life total. No, we share the highest life total. <laughs> yeah. I can't attack myself here, can I? I mean, you you could. I, I don't want to right now. Okay, Centaur at uh, James. What are the chances James has removal right now? Low. Die, right? Well, he doesn't have any kind of mana. I, I already took the two, by the way. It's more than two. It, it's four damage. From this. Jesus balls. Okay, yeah. I'll send this at Beth, and I'll send this one at uh, at James. What? So four at Beth, and then uh, four at James. I took the four. Yeah. Uh, just quickly, Paul, how much is the Immortal Sun CMC wise? Six. Okay, you're only tapped five mana. That's six. Does that land also tap for yeah, it's, double it's, with this case doesn't just, This isn't just basics. It's whenever a land adds white mana to my mana. Okay, um, just thought I'd check. Yeah, you're thinking of Gauntlet of Power. Gauntlet yes. of Power does basics. James, I attack you for four. I take four. I am the Monarch. And it's going full circle. And I have how much mana? <clears throat> One, two, it's like Paul's version of I have the power. I have four mana. Well, all my spells cost one less. So that's pretty fog. I don't want to put all my my lovelies on the table here, I don't think. So I am going to go to my end step and draw a card from the monarchy. And then I will be done. And I do have an untapped uh, white spirit I'm going to get right now. Cool. I will untap. Keep draw for turn. I'll play this swamp for turn. Get it. Resolved. Playing lands uses the stack now. So I'm going to tap black, black, and with a reduction of three because I have three members. Cast a f the grave. The spell costs one less for each creature in your party. Which is a I return target creature card and up to one Crollo cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard from your graveyard to the battlefield. So I will get back uh, Linvala and the squad commander. Yeah, this would be a good time for your force of despair, Beth. <laughs> uh, squad commander will ETB. He will see three party members. So I will make three more core warriors. And Nimble Trap Finder is currently unblockable. I will go to combat. I'll send the Trap Finder over at Hall for the uh -huh. monarchy. Uh huh. <laughs> and it still has a bunch of squirrels, right? Yes. I have dose squirrels. I'll send my core warrior over at James for one. Paul, do you have any blocks? Oh, no, I already took my two and <clears throat> gave them on. Okay. I have no blocks. I take one. Sweet. I will go to my end step and draw for the monarchy. I'm done. That's it. I'll pass. Okay. Untap my centaurs and my squirrels. I will draw. That does not help me. So instead, I will cast one, two, uh, pass infestation. Uh, for one, I'm going to destroy up to one target or enchantment, and I'm going to destroy Caged Sun. Man, why? Beth is just really <laughs> messing with you today, Paul. Why? <laughs> uh, well, because it seems really good, and I already got rid of all the other good artifacts, but I want to make pests and squirrels. Do I, uh, do I get anything for this? I won't swing at you right now because you're not the monarch. <laughs> No, I mean, like, do I get a token or something when this gets destroyed? Nope. No, you get nothing. You lose, sucker. You get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get nothing and my internal gratitude. Okay, so... That's, that's pretty dope. Like, I'd take that. My Donnie token is going to be a pest because... He is a pest. He is a pest. My favorite <laughs> pest, but he is a pest. 
and they are one ones. When they die, I gain a life. And I have two of those and two squirrels. All right. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing what I'm trying to do over here with like no mana. So same. OK, I brought in four creatures, so I will gain four life. Four plus four is 38. And then I will swing two squirrels and three centaurs at Danny. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I will. I mean, I, I could block everything. You do what you have to do, my friend. I mean, like. But I don't really get anything out of blocking everything. Well, your what does your next step on the dungeon give you anything that helps you here? Because you can sack Monvala, right? To trigger Zephyrus. I could. Um, nothing right now. The next no, the next uh, level is dungeon. Gotta either make a treasure or a target creature can't attack until my next turn. Make so... the treasure. <laughs> no, I'll save that for later. I will. Uh, I'll block two squirrels. Okay. Two, and I guess I'll just take nine. That sounds fine to me. Um, and then I will pass the turn and take my Monarch card. I will untap, upkeep, draw a card. Play this super fancy Mountaineer. Oh, we got there. Got there in the end. To how many artifacts and enchantments on the field? Not many Shut is up. there. Shut up, James. <laughs> Shut the hell up. No, I'm not You're asking not for that, that reason. You're not doing that. <laughs> doing what? The last time I heard this, I lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> Overload of Vandal Blast? No. You, but, 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 but look, look, I'm controlling James by keeping you at zero artifacts. It's true. You're welcome. Mm -mm. Uh, right. Okay, so I'm going to tap two. I am going to cast a dock side for two. Did you just cast a dock side for two? Yes, but I needed the no, colors yeah, more right. than I needed anything else. Wow. I didn't, it didn't matter how many how many uh, treasures I need I, I got. I just needed tre I just needed the artifacts essentially. I mean that's fair. I just like go back to the time that I was in a pod at my LGS and this kid literally ca cast a dock side for one. And I was just Whoa. like, what what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Oh. Why? And he had like all I, these like least... sixty dollar cards that he was just like misplaying so hard. And I was like, yeah. if I spend that much money on a card, I'm gonna damn well know how to play it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna tap three and I am going to cast a trash for treasure, sacrificing my last treasure to return a target artifact from my graveyard to the battlefield, and I will get back my do 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 my mana crypt through. And then I will Question if I'm allowed to have the Monarch again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Beth, are we are we still friends? Like, can I have the Monarch and draw another card? Hold on, I have to talk to somebody else first. I don't like this answer. This isn't the hey. answer I wanted. Hey, hey, Paul. I knew this was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Um, uh, are you going to play Illinois on your next turn? Could you... Was... Listen, listen. <laughs> I am over here doing the Lord's work... But if you play Elish Norn, I'm gonna lose 90% of my board. So yeah. what Still I'm asking, so what I'm asking is, would you rather take the monarch from me, or would you rather take the monarch from James? Beth, look at my graveyard. Uh huh. There's a card sitting on top that once uh -huh. was battlefield until <laughs> your turn. Uh, uh, yeah. Look. Okay, but look at James's board. And how few treasure tokens he just got because you don't have those artifacts. The third treasure was irrelevant there. I promise you. Yeah, and I would have preferred he get the third treasure because he hasn't done a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know why? You know why he hasn't done a goddamn thing? <laughs> why is that, Beth? It's because of me. Right. Uh-huh. It Anyways. was me. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all I'm asking is maybe one or let me get let me get one more land, please. And then I will not complain about Elish Norn. Why is that land significant? Uh, because I can't cast half of my hand right now because I don't have 
one uh, other colored land. But Elish Nord doesn't kill lands. No, I mean, but I you can't. Have a good argument. <laughs> I, but I can't rebuild anything if I can't cast anything because I also blew up my ramp. See, here's my dilemma, Beth, and perhaps you'll understand this coming from my point of view. If I don't cast Elish Norn, my only other alternative is to literally dump my hand. And you can okay. understand why that's such a bad idea for me. But you could just what? <laughs> you could just swing out at me. I'm a, I will allow it and I will block James's attempt to take the monarchy and get card draw and answers. Um and I'll even do it without gaining a life. Hey man, if oh if anyway, if someone says you're not taking the monarchy, I just pass my turn. There's there's no oh, spin I off say, my nose. I say do what you gotta do, Paul. I just wanna see Elish Norn come know. out. I think I've versed this deck like seven times and not once has Elish Norn resolved. Well, you know, Danny has untapped mana, so Danny does have untapped mana. And like even if I cast Elish Norn, <sighs> okay, Beth, one more turn. Okay, One thank you. Thank you. James, I will block you. You gonna block me? I will block you. All right, then. Let's pass my turn. All right. Damn. <laughs> you guys know that. All of that yeah. for just, can I draw a card or not? <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> I was like fucking writing a goddamn essay. That was one hell of a political round. Listen, I do not take the politics lightly. I will beg for my life. You, uh, you guys know about a concept called lying. I don't do. I don't do. I've, that. I've heard about it. <laughs> oh. I don't do that. I have a very strict policy. I do not lie in politics. Oh um, well, yeah, I mean that's a great way. That's a you great make a pretty man. bad politician though, right? Uh, so I made I made another spirit from my uh, from my quarter grace, and I'm gonna draw two cards because I have an immortal sign. My body temperature just raised like five degrees when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie during politics. Uh, oh, I don't have Cage Sun anymore. No, you don't, my dude. Oh, fuck. That's so bad. The realization uh, that his ramp's been gone. I won't block you. I'm going to tap a white and play a Pearl Medallion. Who huh. says white can't ramp? Yeah. Pearl Medallion. How much mana do I actually have? About One, that. two, three... So this Nykdos taps for three. So it's just neutral right now. Can I change that? No. Well, kind of, not really. Um, I am going to play nothing right now. I'm gonna go to combat. Hey. Uh, let's, let's send the mind sensor at Beth. Mm-hmm. And I think this turn, I'm actually interested in protecting my monarch. <clears throat> okay. He wants them angels. So is that four? Uh, uh this is it. Uh, this is three damage because I don't have case on anymore. Got it. And in total mana, I have. What did I say? Four. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pay three mana, and I'm going to play Leonin War Leader. <gasps> the cat one. Yeah. Yeah. I got the tokens around here somewhere too. I think they're right next to me actually. I guess I will just go to the end step and take my monarchy card all right i will untap upkeep draw for turn try to clean up my board state a little bit here uh, i'm gonna tap three six with double blue for an archetype of imagination uh everything loses flying and you get my flying? Uh, my yes. avon mind sensor is very sad and <laughs> <laughs> it's very grounded uh, and the nimble trap finder is unblockable to which i mean it's flying now but um, I could take care of that, Paul, for another uh, turn. <laughs> I mean, if, 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 like at this point, I, like we're pretty much making a deal for me to never cast this my commander. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if you want to keep flying, I can handle that. I would rather you save it for your own dire situation. Hmm. I so. will go to combat. My even mind sensor's wings are tired. You could use the rest. It's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to send the trap finder at Paul, the squad commander at Beth, and sure, we'll send Sephiroth over James. Well, that's heckin' rude, dude. What have you to you? Just spreading the love. You have more life than I do. It's very so, true. Is it a 3-3? Three, three? Correct. Take three? Paul, you uh, have two, and, uh, Se and James, you have two. Sephiroth is a 2-3? Yes. 
Oh, it's flying. I can't do anything about it. I'll take the two and I'll now, note two commands. Just out of curiosity, down. Danny, and I'm not saying I have this in my hand or not, but if I were to try to remove this blue creature that is attacking me, what are the chances that Linvala gets popped for Hexproof? Likely, because that is the only rogue I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh, I see. Well, far be it from me to be the fun police. <laughs> But man, I really want to keep my monarchy. But I don't think there's any way for me to do that in this current position. So I will take my two damage. All right, sweet. And, and you may not then I will regain the monarchy. And I will pass turn. Draw for the monarchy. Sounds good. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a swarm yard. And all these colorless lands. Now, I just want to point out. For anybody that's tuning in right now, me and James have talked a lot about greedy mana bases uh, lately, and mm -hmm. uh, I, f I feel like this game is a really good example of why it's important to have those nice mana symbols on your lands. You know, like the, I the, agree. Ones, the white ones, the red ones, the green ones, the blue ones. They're great lands. <laughs> I agree. And you know what's funny? Our next episode is actually going to be about deck building. Spoiler, <laughs> spoiler alert! A little sneak peek for everyone here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna play Verdant Command. I'm gonna pull, create two green squirrels, but because I have Chatterfang out, I'm actually gonna create four. But I'm gonna do that twice because I get to choose two. So I'm gonna create four, and then I'm gonna create eight squirrels. Wait, you just said a lot of numbers. What? She's gonna make eight, eight squirrels. Eight squirrels. I'm missing the math on eight. Okay. Verdant Command lets her pick two modes. Two mm -hmm. It doesn't say different. It just says choose two. If you could choose the same one twice, it would say so. Kind of like, uh, what, what's the name of that card? Mystic Confluence? Yes. That's fine. I will make four squirrels, and then I will gain three life. You could exile and two from my graveyard. I don't care about that. Um, so I will actually gain seven life. I will do something. It's interesting how many squirrels I have in play. How many squirrels do you have? Seven. Seven squirrels? Mm hmm. A lot of squirrels. That That's is a lot of squirrels. A whole lot of squirrels. That is a lot of squirrels. You have one uh, squirrel for each viewer right now. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Gonna get I'm gonna swing three centaurs at Danny. Stop swinging those centaurs at me. No. I'll block with three of my core warriors. Okay. Then I will pass my turn. Excellente. I'm going to untap, upkeep, roll for my mana crypt. Let me just grab a delicious D6. Uh, odds, I take damage. Evens, I am okay. It is hey, a Gunner. Two. I don't take any damage. I will draw a card for turn. Uh, I'll play another mountain. <clears throat> As Paul was talking about uh, greedy mana bases, there's two mountains, Paul, not just one. Uh, Gunner, thanks for the follow. Uh, I will then... Are you going to go look at the stack even list? Mind sensor is still on the field, correct? Yes. I yeah. do have a habit of having too few lands, but I want to see how much I have in this one. I have 36 lands in this deck. All right. I'm going to... It's a lot of lands. Yeah. Uh, three, three, four, average five, mana value of 1.95. Six. I'm going to tap six, and I'm going to attempt to cast an Ugin the Ineffable. That's cool. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. comes up with four loyalty counters. Cool. Now my color spells cost two less to cast, and I can exile top card of my library face down. I can look at it, create a two-two color spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, I can put the exiled card into my hand, or I can destroy target permanent that is more one or more colors. I'm gonna uptick it, and I'm going uh, to James. I'm going to remind you of the text on Immortal Song that says you cannot activate uh, loyalty abilities of planeswalkers. That's fine. It's a six mana two reduction. It, it is what it is. Okay, man. But chill. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I didn't want to do anything. My hopes and dreams have been completely shattered. Oh. Oh. I gotta do this. <laughs> I mean, it's on board now. I just on the yeah, I know. I know. I forgot. Uh, I'll just ship the turn after that. I just, I really just wanted a reduction. 
I mean, you can take Ugin back if you want. I'm okay with it. No, 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 no. No, because the uh, the two the two reduction from artifacts is exactly what I really wanted. Just the ability to put creatures on the battlefield so that when you do bring Elish Norn out, I would draw some of those cards. It was going to be fun, but you know. Wait, James. Yo. How would you like the monarchy? Uh, I would love the monarchy. You want to swing that dark side this way? You want to kill my dark side? No. Do you want to swing it this way? Oh. I mean, can I swing my beast instead? No. You like know what? Yeah. Dark you, dark you know what? All right, cool. I'll swing dark side at you. I'll block. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got oh, I got, it. I will take one. I got made it. Monarch. <laughs> yes. Now I'm, now I'm everybody's number one target. Uh, I will end my turn and draw my monarch card. And then I will Man. ship it. At the end of your turn, I'm going to put the decision on this in Danny's court. Oh, so God. I'm going to tap a white mana. I will attempt to source to Plowshares Archetype of Imagination. Why? Because it's funny. That, is that, that's the life one, right? Yes. I don't need life right now. I prefer a land. Uh, yeah, but look at that artwork, though. Oh, yeah, it is beautiful. It is the <laughs> only correct artwork. I will sacrifice it. Yeah, this is this is actually whenever I buy more Swords of Plowshares, this is this is pretty much the one that I get. And which one's uh, that? This is so that will trigger Sephiroth, uh, which will let me venture. I will create a treasure token. Uh, so that fizzles. Uh, we'll untap. Uh, I am going to draw. I'm sorry. I'm going to make a one-one spirit first, and then I will draw a card because I have more sign out. So one, two. I'll play Snow-Covered Plains. All right. Now, how much mana does my Nikdos make? One, two, three, four. Danny has one mana open. I have two mana open. I have a treasure. Danny has two mana open. And that land, I actually can't tell because of the full board. It taps for blue and white. Ah, how convenient. And how many cards do you have in your hand, sir? <laughs> uh, three. Oh, man. I have four, if you cared. You do have four. Are there any green or black cards that would haunt my dreams? Yeah, I guess there's several black cards that would do that. Are you trying to play Elish Norn? I don't know what I'm trying to do. That's okay. I'm trying to figure that part out. Okay. Lo logically speaking, Elish Norn is just like amazing here, right? I mean, you're welcome to try. Uh, Elish Norn would clear that archetype of imagination. It would clear this rogue that has been a thorn in my side this whole time. <laughs> That's what he does. He is a thorn. I think what I'll do is be greedy. Well, why not? You think the rest of us are? Actually, Elishorn only really costs five, huh? Immortal Sun and Pro Medallion. So I can just. <laughs> How big is Elishorn? Elishorn is a four seven. I think I'm going to cast her. Okay. To the stack. Yeah, Any idea? <laughs> I'm gonna lose three creatures in this exchange. I mean, it's not really so much of an exchange because you get nothing in return. Well, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm losing. That's, that's what I'm, getting. <laughs> I'm getting adventure trigger is what I'm getting. I mean, you know, it would be really hot right now. A counter spell? Well, if you happen to have a mana tie, because I am going to counter Ocean Order. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Um, that is unfortunate, but agreeable. See that, Beth? For the good of the table. That's okay. I know how many squirrels I have. Well, those squirrels couldn't kill Elish Norn. Yeah, they can. No, because as soon as Elish Norn hits the table, they die immediately. To I can do in response to the ETB. State-based actions will kill them. Yeah. Elish Norn's a messed up card. <laughs> she, she, she sure is. <laughs> um, I mean, she okay. Uh Let's see. I think with that being done, how much mana do I have now? I have three. I think I'm just going to go to combat. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I've only got two creatures. But James is the monarch. Shh, don't tell him that, man. Uh, Be chill, my guy. This bird is unfortunately grounded. Still. That's uh, rough, man. While you figure out your attacks, uh, Jig the King, thank you for the follow. I don't think this bird can actually go anywhere without dying. Sad times. Uh, so, we'll, well, actually, this is a 3-2. Does that change anything? Absolutely not. All right. Let's go to this thing. This is a biggin that makes other things. So let's send this over towards... What is this? A Leonin war leader. Okay. We're going to send this... How many squirrels do you have, Beth? I have six squirrels, two pests, one chatterfang, and one prosperous innkeeper. Oh, man. And three centaurs, but they're tapped. All right. I'm going to send this at Danny. This centaur will go 
at oh, who has the monarchy oh james does it's cool it's okay uh this centaur will go at beth yeah beth is fine uh beth and then i think i'll leave the spirits home uh i have an attack trigger of the only war leader to make two one one kitty cats with lifelink those two kitty cats are going to come into play attacking james i will block with my donny past and gain a life sounds good i will block with a blast core war also sounds agreeable. I will block one of your tapped and attacking cats with lifelink with my 3-3 three, three centaur. Arr. Centaur. Centaur, huh? Centaur, oh my gosh, huh? those are adorable. <laughs> yeah, they came with the secret lair. They are pretty uh, pretty cute. I'm really sad that I missed out on that secret lair. You and um, both. Okay, so sure, I'm going to pick it up on the secondary market if you wanted to. Uh, okay, he doesn't have lifelink. Okay, so... James, you blocked one of these? Yeah. All right, so I'll, so I'll lose one, but I'm going to gain one. Two. One, two, three, four. They have plus one, plus one because of immortals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're so right. So I'm going to gain four. You're going to take two. Okay. Danny, I attacked you with a four, four. You blocked with a warrior, so nothing happens there. And Beth, I think I attacked with a centaur, which is also blocked, so nothing happens there. So James, you just take two. I get the monarchy. But two. So, no, yeah, you can take the monarchy back. I'll give you the silly hat. <clears throat> and I think... The only other thing I want to do right now is tap a white for a giver of runes. Is there anything else? Yes. I'll pay a white for a dawn of hope and I'll pass. Oh, I have monarchy. I draw a card. Uh -huh. Yes. I will untap my things. Keep draw for turn. I will play a, yeah, why not? Uh, Shock and hollow fountain. Take two. And then for, man, two. I'm getting beat up. You're beating yourself up. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I had a lot to do with Beth attacking you for nine, like three turns in a row. <laughs> I just want the monarchy. That's all. Hey, uh, hey James, how would you like yeah. some help? Uh, I would love some help, depending in the in the form of which this help is going to be provided. I'm gonna tap five. So far, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to cast a replication technique and I'm going to demonstrate. It's going to show us the way. Uh, create a token that's a copy of target permanent you control. If you demonstrate it, someone else gets to do it. Yep. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll do oh, that. I, I want to thank you ahead of time for letting me copy something. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because uh, <laughs> he's not choosing you. <laughs> no, James uh, can, uh, can get a copy of this. Yeah, sure. Mine goes, uh, I choose first, don't I? Like mine goes off first or uh, whatever. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Uh, I think we all know what I'm going to choose. What are you going to choose? I think I'm going to be choosing my Dockside Extortionist. So my wow. next question is going to be how many artifacts and or enchantments do we have on the battlefield? Actually, let's ask that first before I are. Uh, zero. Paul, how many have you got? One, two, three, four. Are you, you're targeting Dockside Extortionist with your copy of that thing. Right? I believe so. I'm asking the amount first before I do it. That way I don't make an uneducated guess. Uh, you can just copy that centaur. You can copy your mana crypt. You can copy your land. Mana crypt yeah. definitely. Is it, I have mana crypt four. is back out. Yeah. Uh, I have four. Yeah. Okay. You can copy your land. That is very true. But I want the four treasures. I think I'm gonna take the four treasures instead. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna target Dockside and make a copy of it. You are targeting Dockside. I think. In well, response. you are not going to do anything against it because I have done quite literally nothing this game. No, no, no. You're good. You can do that. Uh, and just in response, I'm going to tap away and I'm going to cast a Deferious Protection. Oh, that's fine. I have, I had no plans on messing up with anybody's stuff. Anytime. Well, no, now you don't get any artifact. Now you don't get any treasures. Oh, you're a real son of a bitch. I'm sorry, you get one. I have an enchantment. Okay, that's obviously on the stack before my stuff before mine is and i can't do anything about it so excellent i should have just targeted a freaking land fair enough seems good i went greedy it was uh bad of me so i'll make a copy of dockside and get a treasure and just say i have two of these real quick i can't find my copy tokens i thought i had them on my desk key somewhere but i've gone through this pile of cards like seven times and can't find them but there is my treasure token what are you targeting danny i'm gonna target my squad commander twice fair enough so we get six warriors what does squad commander do again? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I create X11 one, one, uh, white core warrior creature tokens for each creature in my party. At the end of my turn, they have plus one plus one. Unacceptable. unacceptable. <laughs> Where are the clerics, man? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My kingdom for a cleric. I have 
<laughs> out of all the creatures in my party, I have more. I think I have seven clerics in here and six of everything else. Uh, and with one card left in hand, I still don't have a full party. I'm just gonna pass turn. Okay. I'll untap. I will draw. I am going to play a card. I am going to tap two and I will play Gurid Colony. Mm -hmm. And I can't hit anybody that I want to hit because the monarchy is over there. <laughs> the king has left the crown with his, uh, I'm sorry, left the throne with his crown. I'll pass my turn. All right, I will untap. Oh, I get it. I'm not in the game, so just nobody Up attack, keep. huh? Is that really the way this goes? Upkeep. Uh, we want the monarchy. Draw a card. I want to draw a card. Good. Hey, well, look at that. I'm going to play a Marco Synth Wallspring for free. Hell yeah. I get to search my library for a basic land card, but I'm just going to look at the top four cards of my No, I'm not in the game right now. A, uh, oh, even even better. This Which is means you can also off. you can activate Ugin this turn as well. I can, can't I? There is a mountain that's kind of play. Goes in my hand, sorry. A mountain? A mountain? Then you get a little cat mountains. That'd be adorable. Mountain. You also yeah, have to uh, you have to roll for mana crypt. Yes, I do. I'm normally pretty good at uh, you know, doing that. Uh, so library is can shuffled. Uh, mana crypt trigger. I had a dice or any somewhere. It's on my thing. That's it. Six. So it's even. I don't take any damage. Put this mountain in my hand. Play the mountain for turn. Um, then let's go. Let's start by upping Ugin to six, and then uh. Do the thing with this thing, make it into a 2 2 spirit. Uh, so I upticked Ugin. That is fine. One, two, three. Wait, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will cast Duretti Scrap Savant again from the command zone. Comes out with three plus and plus one, uh, three loyalty counters. I will tap Forge of Heroes to put an additional uh, loyalty counter on. Him, uh, I will then down tick to ready to sacrificing the Marcus into Wellspring, uh, targeting the uh, Staff of Domination in my graveyard, and then searching for a basic land, putting on the in, into my hand. There is another mountain. Um, bringing the staff out, continue to shuffle my library. Um, I will then crack my treasure and tap one, and I will cast a unwinding clock for two to drop my cards on the floor that's excellent you're doing great uh, i'm doing fantastic look at you back in the game went. yeah i don't know where my other card went so i'm gonna not move my chair anytime soon and then i think i'm just gonna have to pass my turn because i don't really want to attack anybody because <clears throat> you're all pretty pretty well defended and i don't have and you and action. you can't get monarch right actually um oh no i can't attack with that because gamut is done uh i will just ship it the pole. The blood gods are very upset with all of you. Or the blood god, rather. Well, no, blood no, god. No, no, no Khan the Berserker sure. is just going to have to chill his pants for 10 more seconds before we can build a board that we can then attack each other with. No blood was shed. Hmm. Alright, I'm back, everybody. Yo, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize you were gone this whole time. Wow. Uh, my hey, James, don't forget to untap your artifact. Oh, yeah. Boop. Make an angel. Uh, okay. Uh, upkeep. I will draw, I'm sorry, upkeep, I already made my angel uh, draw step, I'll draw two cards because of Immortal Sun. That's pretty cool. You know, James? Uh, yo, I'm surprised you didn't get that uh, Spine of Ishtag instead of nomination. I was going to, but Paul was phased out. I mean, you can have it for next turn, because now you can't activate your Planeswalkers. Yeah, it's all right. I'll figure it out. What are the chances? Elishorn resolving this turn. <laughs> oh, my angel doesn't fly. Nope. Nope. Um, it's a very on the ground angel. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you know, seven mana. Your angel could fly. He Elish can kill the angel himself fly. when he casts Elish Norn. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tap Nykthos for seven white mana, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play Elish Norn. I'm just gonna leave it right there because I don't have space. I will pass priority on Elish Norn. Uh, priority has been passed for me as well. I uh, in response, I'll tap a black mana, and I will sacrifice one squirrel 
and I will um, give a negative one to Aven Mind Sensor. Well, the Aven Mind Sensor is a is a three two right now. It's a three two. Okay, well then I'll sacrifice two squirrels. Shit, she saw the line. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. <laughs> uh, uh, am I okay with this? How many squirrel is that? That was your only black mana. Yeah, I only have one. Paul, you have to be okay with it. Uh, I'm going to give him protection from green till end of turn. Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> what? What do you want to do here, man? <laughs> All right, I have I have no responses other than that. Elishnorn goes. Elishnorn uh, ETBs then, right? Yeah, and then everything yeah. gets minus two, minus two. Yeah. Awesome saucepan. I'm gonna lose uh, my creature token. I gain one because uh, my Donny pest dies. All my squirrels die. My innkeeper dies. This guy dies. My They're centaurs all are dead. alive. I'm gonna move some stuff back onto the screen. Uh, I have something to do in your end step, Paul, once you get there. I'm trying to think. Is it kill Elish Norn? No, I can't do that yet. Get me all excited. I'm trying to think if there is an end step this turn. Woo! Why would there not be an end step? If everybody's dead. Paul, if you can do it, just do it. I don't think I can. If you can deal, like, a metric butt ton of damage, just do it, mate. Uh, just get amongst it. Go ham. Show us the power of mono white. Is this how you talk shit, James? Like you reverse talk shit? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I try to goad them into doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Crap. Okay. Uh, I think what I will do instead is simply go to... Con well, how many cards do you have in hand, Danny? That says the blood tithe is being called for by the blood gods. <laughs> Danny, how many cards you got in your hand? One. One card. And you didn't counter Elishnorn. I think I'd just go for it. I'm going to tap four. <laughs> I'm going to play a true conviction. True conviction, eh? My creatures have double strike and lifelink. Booked. Huh. I'm going to go to combat and make decisions. I need to kill somebody. Do yeah. you? <laughs> the blood god is unsatisfied from that last turn cycle. <laughs> <laughs> and he must be repaid in kind. All right. So we're going to go. How much damage do I actually have here? I got to do math. This is a lot. Uh, everything is plus one, plus one and double strike. So the kitty cast that this guy makes... Well, aren't they plus three? Because they're Elishnorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, they're huge. So this guy is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, this math is hard. We'll do it one at a time. Uh, so this kitty cat represents 14 damage, but everybody has blockers. That's unfortunate. Not very big ones. Yeah. We have a lot of one ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so this is going to go at Beth. What she, is... has 40, she has 42 life. What is this? Uh, Leon and War Leader. There's a 7-7 seven, seven double striking lifelinker. Okay. Uh, Avon Mind Sensor will go at James. This is, how much did I say? This is plus three. So this is a five power flying double striker. So that's 10. So that puts you at 18 right now. Uh, Kitty Cat, gonna go at James. James just has a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this centaur that I somehow still have <laughs> is going to go at... Let's see. I think this goes at Beth. So I'll move it over here. And then I have three spirits that are normally one ones, but are now four fours. Right now I have James at 18. You mean well, uh, less than 18 because you're swinging Avon Mind Sensor and a cat at me. Well, you have a blocker. I presume something gets blocked. Yeah. Well, actually, if I attack James with just flyers, it's the same thing. So if these flyers are four fours, eight, 16, 24. I don't like this let's just kill James plan, but I understand it. So I think this. <laughs> You know when chat says put me to three and then put me in the hot seat. I can't put you to three though, oh. unless you let me put you to three. Oh, can't do that. that that's the thing, because like in flyers, I have these are four fours that double strikes. So these are each eight, so eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Three or less, as long as you can keep me like around three. I don't, I, I don't think I have a way to do it. This is eight, sixteen. This is five. So this is ten and two eights is twenty. I can do it if I attack you with Aven Mind Sensor and two spirits. It puts you to two. Sure. If that's how you want to play the game, let's do it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a man of chance. I'm a gambling man. Uh, the other spirit will attack Beth along with these three creatures. And then the two cats that Leon and War Leader makes are also going to attack Beth. Okay. I will block your three big, your four biggest things. I will tell you exactly what that means in just one moment. 
once I get another cat, which will be represented by this this golden dragon for now. Obviously, this guy is large. Uh, I think the centaur will be the next biggest, and then these all three are the same, so just block one of those. So right now, you are taking... I think she said you're four biggest. Four biggest, you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have three okay. centaurs and one chatterfang. All right, so another cat then. So right now, you are taking from unblocked attackers... Oops. Uh, this kitty cat is four. Double strike is eight. Right now, you're taking 16. Eight okay. from the flyer and eight from the unblocked cat. Cool. And um, we're taking 26. In response to combat, I will tap my swarm yard to regenerate Chatterfang. That is a lovely, lovely thing to hear. Uh, I'm going to block your biggest thing, Paul, with my 1-1. One, one. There are no blockers that you can declare. They're uh, all flying. Okay. Then I will take 26. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. 26 damage. That puts you to 2. Possible lethal on your upkeep. And I think with that, I'm going to move to my end step draw a card from the monarchy uh response to the draw i'm gonna tap my crypt to tap my staff and gain one life okay so i actually did need to put you to two it's pretty fun. yeah you did <laughs> um okay i drew a card and i'm done and then i will untap with danny all right i will untap keep draw. i'll play this tap godless shrine i will how many blockers do you have there james paul I have, sorry, I have Elishnorn and I have, uh, I have a angel out yonder. All right, I will go to combat. I will send my three squad commanders here. Those are three threes? Yes, they are one ones. Ah, uh, yes, of course, because Elishnorn is a cool card. I will block two of them, I suppose, and I'll take one from the other. Which block. two? I will block the two tokens. Sounds good. Two tokens are gone. And I will take one damage from the unblocked one and you will have the crown. I sure do. Conspiracy. And I will move to my end step. Um, in your end step, I want to do the same thing with my staff and a tap mm -hmm. it and gain one life. That's acceptable. Ah, oh, James, come on. I tried to have fun and you're not letting me have fun. <laughs> I'm also trying to have fun. His one life is is cramping your style. Well, yeah, because I'm no longer at like ma mana crypt could kill me. Yeah, but All that, right. was that one and you're denying that. I will untap. Boo. I will draw. Sorry, Tino. I couldn't help myself. I have a I have a will to live. <laughs> and I will swing one at Danny and attempt to take the monarchy. Uh, I do have a blocker. I I know, but I really would like the card draw. See now the thing is, a blocker. How about we just make it easy? Tap and give Rogue's passage. He's unblockable. Sounds good. I will, I will take one. And I will draw my dang card. Yeah. And uh, I will pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to stop with Dom game one. Yeah, you're good. Cool. And then I'm going to untap for my turn. And I'm going to draw a card. But not before I roll my mana crypt and take three. I rolled a six. I take nothing. Draw a card. Odds are for Owie. Yeah. Play Mountain. I am always going to be a man of gambling so let's so, see what hang on here. james real quick Yo. before you do anything else yes i do have some cards in my deck that deal with sorry so, what was that i said i do have some cards in my deck that might be able to deal with i have a card uh, in my hand that could deal with paul okay well then go for it I was just but my say, question like, is do i really want to deal with paul well i was he's, or, gonna, he's gonna kill us all i was gonna I, say like you know if you tag into my staff for this I might be able to draw into them. I think what James is trying to say is he's probably uh, ready for game two. I mean, I'm ready for game two as well. A little bit. A yeah. little bit. Little but bit. I want to I wanna try this. Yeah. Okay. And I want to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Um. So, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what's that? I forgot I have lifelink on basically all my creatures. Yeah, uh, you kind of uh, yeah. did a lot of damage there. I'll just count the kitty cats. Three. So, uh, oh, one, two, the cast, three, the four, blocked. five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen. I guess because I have improvise. I'm gonna cast uh, Sahili's directive. Yes. Ooh. X equals. I think I said nine. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, eight. So X equals eight. So I get to 
Uh, reveal the top X cards of my library. You may put any number of artifact cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then put all cards revealed this way that weren't put onto the battlefield into your graveyard. Nice. So I will reveal the hope you don't whiff. Same. Top eight. I have an Alhamarat's Archive, a Staff of Nin, a Tibalt's Trickery. So that's three. Four is a Basalt Monolith. Five is a Sculpting Steel. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, wow. So the only one that I didn't hit was uh, Tibalt's Trickery. So that goes to the graveyard. And then I get everything else to the battlefield. So Mana Vault, Cursed Mirror, Ruby Medallion. My spells cost low. I'm just going to put these here. So now when I draw a card, I'm going to draw twice as many cards. That's a thing. Cursed Mirror is going to enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature. You can make some squirrels. I can make some squirrels. Can I can also squirrels. look at the top. I can also look at the top card of my library and cast it if it's an artifact card. You can that make an Elish Norn. Yeah. Yeah, but I really feel like the Elish Norn just messes you guys up because it's going to put in another minus four, minus four on you, uh, minus two, minus two on you guys, which is going to screw you up even further. Um, yeah, which true. I'm not really here for. I mean, I'm really dead in the water with one Elish Norn, so. You and yeah. both. <laughs> and I also have a Most sculpting steel. Uh, I also have a sculpting steel trigger to make something else into something else. Which I am probably going to have my sculpting steel come in as a copy of. That is a great damn question. Paul doesn't really have any artifacts. He has mainly enchantments, except for that one artifact that's screwing me over. So in that case, I will make Sculpting Steel a copy of my mana crypt. So I can have two mana untapped. Home for the big scares. I mean, why don't you just make it a copy like the Basalt Mon- Uh, because the Basalt Mon requires three mana to be untapped. Well, I mean, you have this winding clock. That's actually very true. You are very, also very don't true. don't think Sculpting Steel can actually copy anything it came into play at the same time as. Uh, you may have Sculpting Steel enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact, so it can only copy the stuff that was already on the field, which yeah. means it has to come in as a copy of uh, Mana Crypt, which or, is fine. Or Staff of Dom. Or, or Staff of Dom, but that seems kind of redundant. Um, but that, and that makes me have three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Six, uh, I also five. have an Immortal Sun you can copy. Does that help me? You don't have any taps for color, colorless, do you? Colored mana, sorry. Do I have anything that taps for colored mana? No. Maybe a draw step, draw an additional card. This doesn't really help me that much, I don't think. Still trying to think of what I want this to come in as a copy as. I will just let it come in as a... That doesn't seem like it would be fun. Like, oh, it could become, become a copy of Sephiroth, but I don't think I want it to become a copy of Sephiroth. Uh, um, so I will just have it enter the battlefield as a copy of the Leonin War Leader. Ooh. Because it gives it haste. So I'll be able to attack. And then you'll have lifeline cats too. Exactly. Well, well I won't because they'll die. die straight away. Ah. Which is kind of sad. But it doesn't really matter all that much because I can then play my expedition map for free. I really wanted a way to make colored mana this turn. This really, uh, this really sucks. I'm going to tap my staff of Nin to deal one damage to Paul. I'll allow it. Yeah, you will. Um, I'll allow it. So it's three, that's six with a reduction of two, so it's four mana. Um, <laughs> let's go tap five, uh, casting a worm coil engine from the top of my library with my Mystic Forge. So you have one floating? Yes. I tap my mana vault for three, floating four colorless mana. I'm going to use two of it to cast a Thran Dynamo. Then I'm going to use the last two to cast a Clark Clan Ironworks. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, um, I played that last night. Sacrificed my Worm Coil Engine to KCI, uh, making two colorless mana and making the Worm Tokens. There is my Worm Tokens. So what I can do is I'm going to tap my Mystic Forge to pay one life. And I'm unfortunately going to be exiling my Combustible Gear Hulk. Which you can just go stay over there for in, in exile. Top card. That's two. Uh, two. Uh, so I'm going to use the two floating and tap three in Dynamo. And I'm going to cast a, a Myco Synth Lapis. Now it doesn't matter what color I have because it's, it's all relative at this point. 
So you have one floating? Uh, yes, I have, I, I have. I have one one floating colors model. Okay, let's uh, let's use that one floating to cast a gamble. Let's search my library for a card. Search top, the top four. four. Search my top four. One, two, three, four. My top four. Even mind sensor. Uh, because even mind sensor still on the field. I thought I killed that. I gave it protection. No, green. he gave her protection before uh, uh, your, your activated ability hit it. Uh, searching my library for a card. I will search for this card, and then I will put these shuffled. It's really hard to have game memory when, like, you don't even have five-minute memory. <laughs> Man, I understand that completely. Uh, Paul, you got a D4 on you, mate? Somewhere, yes. No. Oh. I just thought you have one like next to you. I have one in a D and D bag here, real quick. I just need to roll to see which card I discard. Hey, look, an orange D four. So here is my four cards. I'm going to roll a D four. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's a three, so I discard, and all is dust. Seems kind of bad. Um, and then let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the Ruby Medallion to the Clark Clan Ironworks to make two colorless mana. Um, I need two more mana. I'll sack the worm that has Death Touch on it, <clears throat> make two more mana. I'm going to use all four of that mana to cast a duplicate, uh, putting its ETB on the stack. I would like to target Elish Nord. Y yeah, that's fine. Oh, I, I guess it's not going to Yeah. And then Elish, and then this gets minus two. Oh no, this doesn't get anything because you know Elish Norn's gone. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Um, and then I'll sack my uh, my map to to KCI to float two. Uh, I'm gonna use one of it to cast a Vandal Blast, uh, targeting the Immortal Sun. Now notice I am not overloading this because that is dirty. Did anybody notice how James started this off with like rule zero conversation about how he wanted a fast game and then took the longest turn out of any of us? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Um, I'm going to pick it ready. I'm going to pitch my uh, goblin engineer. I'm going to draw two cards. To, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I get stuck here. Uh, let's uptick uh, Ugin to make this thing a spirit, and that's unfortunately where I have to end. Cat, no offense, but I'm never listening to you again. <laughs> I should have killed James. Me? Oh. No, chat. Oh, right. <laughs> I should have killed you. I'm still in a position where you can kill me. I mean, a lot of these artifacts aren't creatures. I only have... Now I only have uh, two of them that are creatures. Sorry, three of them that are creatures. The rest of them right. are just... But Sorry, I have four. now uh, lost my immortal son. And, and I am also sorry. going to untap with you. Whereas I didn't have to lose those if you were dead. Very true. Very true. Which is a problem that I will be correcting this turn. Uh, I'm going to make a spirit, which will be represented by the golden dragon again. I am going to draw a single card. This was all my attempt to get rid of Elish Nolan. I will play my land for turn. Is there anything stopping me from killing James right now? Not me. Not me. I mean, probably I'm, no one. And well, I mean, at this I point, have a ton of mana up, but I've got two cards in my hand. I'm okay with it. I was able to sort all of my bulk that needs to get put away while James took his turn. So, <laughs> you know, it wasn't that bad. Boy. James, do, you have, do you have any flyers, James? Uh, no, not at all. Oh wait, no. Uh, the spirit has no flying. Spirit has no flying. This is this no flying. <laughs> no bueno. Um. Elishnor costs uh, 11 <laughs> minus 1, 10. Commander Hub is saying he took a whole game of arena while James took that turn. So three, six, seven. Burn Zone Bossy. Eight, Thanks for the follow. Nine, ten. I'm I love that Nikthos. name. I recognize that name. I'm going to tap Nykthos for 10 mana, uh, and I am going to cash Elishnor. With one floating? Zero. Oh, no. The call. Okay. Right, the mortal sun is gone. Yeah. Um, I thought I was about to say I'm like, hey, 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 bossy, uh, send off in the chat if uh, if we went to high school together. That would be a, a hard yes. <laughs> now, Jamesy, Jamesy, James. Yeah. What's Your going on? Problem. Man? I am a problem. 
It's okay. I, I, look, everyone gets, uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, I mean, color spells, doesn't matter what color they are. You can, you can cast them, right? Wait, we can't cast colored spells? No, um, all permanents on the battlefield are artifacts in addition to their other types. All cards that aren't on the battlefield, uh, spells and permanents are colorless and players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. So right now, colors, oh. don't, colors don't matter. I like that part. Don't yeah. kill him. Which is why I specifically said I wasn't Vandal Blasting Overload because I would have destroyed everybody's lands and I'm not here for that. I just wanted that pesky immortal sun gone. All right, I'm going to combat. Paul's not listening. He's on the rampage. He is on the rampage. James, you have no flyers, you said, right? Correct. Zero flyers. He's fixing my mana. Leave him alone. <laughs> I'm you a man of the people. Bunch of mana on tap, though. I don't have um, any mana on tap. I have... I have... Uh, uh, oh, this? James, you want to tap your lands, too. Oh, yeah. I have a lot, lot more. <laughs> uh, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I have 22 mana available. And your sacrificable rocks. Yeah, and I mean, I have a lot more with KCI, but, you know, that's that's in the end or there. I'm just trying to think about how many spirits I actually need to send to you. A lot. Well, one right now. Yeah, one. Period. Fair. Remember, I can gain life of uh, stuff. Yeah, which would be two life, which would be a six, but one spear still kills you in that case. Well, he can untap it and tap it pretty oh, much. A lot. Yeah. I think I just swing everything at James. I think that's probably your best bet, honestly. What's your response, James? Um, well, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still deciding what I... Uh... Just do it, Paul. Okay. I'm just going <laughs> to attack James with everything. All right. Thank you. Um, when James kills you, I told, I told you to stay back. I shouldn't be having mana issues. It's probably like a chunk of land in the middle. I have thirty six um, in a stack. Well, I know I have nothing you. that can really do anything at instant speed. Uh, all I can really do is just gain a like a lot of life. But I'm fairly sure he still kills me with the amount of damage on board. So I'll just uh, I'll take it and I'll I'll die. Okay, I have some lifelink yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, Eliminated. I think if you're just taking it though, you're just you're not the double strike isn't gonna go through. So I'm only gonna gain three per cat. So what three six, uh, three six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Uh, I'll gain fifteen. Yeah. I'll go up to sixty-three. Okay. And I have uh, Dawn of Hope triggers. Um, Draw those cards. I gotta see how much mana I have. If I have five mana. Let me take a look at the hand. The hand looks good. I will draw. I'm good. I will draw one card. Was James Monarchy? Who's Monarchy? No. Uh, no. Uh, Beth is. Hey, what's up? Uh, I just. <laughs> the was. I guess with that being said and done, uh, I am going to pass. Hold on, tap. Draw. <sighs> you know. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm gonna play this land for turn. And then. Why you got the giggles? Well, because I, was, I was telling James, I was like, you know, there's... And I did draw one of them, but we want to go to game two. So I'm just going to go to combat. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to send my squad commander at Beth. How big? It's just three. Uh, I take three. And I am the monarch again. Woo! I will move to end step, draw four of the monarchy. Okay. I will officially take my three because when I said I would take it, I had hands full of cards again. Um, I will untap, and then I will probably draw. Oh, look! There's a forest! Um... Sorry, it was one, Beth. I'm sorry, because Elish Norn is out again. For now. I'm going to play Infernal Grasp, and I'm going to destroy Elish Norn. Sorry, one more time. Infernal Grasp, Elish Norn, no, no. <laughs> I will give Elish Norn protection from black. I don't like you. <laughs> All right, I will lose two life for the pleasure of nothing. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't ever resolve, so you keep the life for what it's worth. Because Elish Norn has protection from black when that spell tries to resolve, so it, it doesn't actually have a legal target on. Okay. This I will play Eternal Witness, and I will return Soul Ring to my hand, and then I'll tap my Rogue's Passage, and I will play my Soul Ring. Uh -huh. 
And, and then Chatterfang will swing at Danny for three. For one. For one. LOL. Uh, I'm going to block the Sephiroth. <laughs> because then I get a dungeon trigger. Yeah. No, Chatterfang lifts. Sephiroth is a zero one. Ugh. I will choose to exile the top two cards of my library. And I said, play them. Sephiroth dies. Yes. I'm going to exile a wipe away and a deadly alliance. Hey, I think I die. So, but I passed my turn. Oh, hang on. I have to, I have to resolve these. Um, you resolve. I pass. I am going to play. I can play both of them. Uh, I'll play the wipe away. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just recast every bounce. Conviction to your what is wipe away? A return target permanent to its owner's hand. What do you bounce them? That's your conviction. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just recast. It's in my hand. And oh, I'm a fool. I could have killed. Oh, I'm so 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 dumb. Oh. Did you miss tri triggers? No, I missed. I missed. I missed. Uh, I misplayed. Uh, and then I'll tap four for the deadly alliance, and I'll kill the cat that's making you more cats. All the way up here. All right. It's dead. And yeah, I'll pass. That's it. We're we're dead. Uh, you don't get to pass. I get to pass. Sorry, I'm sorry. All it's right. not your turn. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> un untap, uh, upkeep. I get a spirit. Whatever. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna replay True Conviction. Yep. And then I'm gonna go to combat. Mhm. Mm and then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kill people. People or person? Mul multiple people, at least two. Do you, Do you guys want me to to count this out? Because I, I will do so. I don't care that I much, mean. to be honest. <laughs> so I'm really mad because I could have... Oh, I'm so angry. That Elder Storm could be... Does that mean Paul wins? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Look at that mono white coming through. Congratulations to Paul on his victory, showing the amazing power of mono white. Never underestimate this color. It is not the weakest color in Magic. You just have to know what cards to be playing, and Elishnorn is definitely one of them. I want to thank both of our guests, Beth, aka the Queen of Cardboard, and Danny from Dad Jokes and Cardboard. Don't forget to go and check both of them out. Their socials will be linked in the show notes below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss an upload from us here at the Commander at Arms YouTube channel. If you want to support the show directly, you can do it on patreon.com slash commander at arms. All tiers get access to the Discord channel, and some tiers get access to playing Magic with Paul and I on Commander at Arms to the battlefield. If you want to pick up any of the cards that you've seen here tonight on the show, then you can do that through our TCG affiliate link, which is tcgplayer.com slash commander at arms. If you want to pick up any commander at arms merch, you can do it through the Etsy link below. That's where you'll be able to find our commander at arms shirts. They are super soft and super comfortable, and you'll also find some wooden deck boxes over there. So please go and show your support that way. If you want to watch these games being streamed live, you can do that on twitch.tv slash commander at arms. We stream on Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. EST every single Wednesday, again, with your favorite content creators, our friends, and patrons. And that's it. So from us to you, I hope you enjoyed the video. And with all of that, I'm James, and this has been Commander at Arms to the Battlefield. Peace. See ya.